Hi, Molly. I'd like to see if I could get in contact with you. I that you're representing a group of women who is launching a suit against the state of Texas. I unfortunately have a heartbreaking story. Had an ectopic pregnancy, was denied medication, resulted in my tube rupturing. Use my story, use my son's life in any way you can. When you have doctors feeling like they can't provide medical care, it is a dangerous situation. That ultrasound is on your belly and it's showing a pregnancy and you think it's your pregnancy. But it is not your pregnancy, it is the state's pregnancy. I was still pregnant when I spoke with Molly because this is not okay. Somebody had to file the first suit. There are a lot of people depending on me and my fellow plaintiffs and this lawsuit. Good morning, Your Honor. Molly Duane from the Center for Reproductive Rights for the Plaintiffs. All right, let's do this. The testimony you will hear will demonstrate that the chilling of necessary medical care is real and ongoing. Miscarriage was inevitable, and my doctor, she couldn't intervene. Is it your contention the baby's heart stopped prior to the induction of labor? I don't know when her heart stopped. They didn't have to do that. It was the most traumatic experience of my life. No, I can't tell you exactly what minute her heart stopped. They're just trying to stop the testimony. What we're asking for in this lawsuit is the bare minimum human decency requires. I just kept telling myself and my baby that I'm so sorry. At any time did Attorney General Paxton tell you that you couldn't receive an abortion? You know, I never thought to ask him. These cases are showing people what happens when you ban abortion, and it's not necessarily what they thought. <laughs> God, we're never gonna have a baby. To take my tubes out, it's a two-week recovery. I'm not gonna have work or pay. The stories are out there, and now they have to very publicly right. say, no, we are not on the side of pregnant women. There's gonna be a ton of human suffering. I do believe that we're gonna fix this in my lifetime.